It's the return of comics, and I got a top 10 cover list that you're not going to want to miss. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And webheads, you are with me, your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring a 2020's top 10 comic book covers. We're jumping to week 21. That's right, fans. This is the interactive video series where each and every week you guys get to vote on which is your favorite comic book cover of the week based off of the top 10 I provide for you. And guys, you're not going to want to miss this list. It's the return of new comics. We got enough comics to bring the series back. So hopefully you guys vote and you'll have a great time with this. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you want to consider being a member, hit that join button as well. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with this countdown coming in at number 10. And number 10, guys, goes to Savage Dragon, issue 248. This is the main cover. Probably one of the only times you'll ever see Savage Dragon on this countdown. But... Nevertheless, it's cool as we get to see Dart, who is a longtime nemesis of Dragon. And here she's holding a picture of Malcolm Dragon and she's tearing it in half. And uh, yeah, and she's like, I'm going to get rid of Dragon once and for all. You know, so pretty cool cover. I love Eric Larson. I'll always have a soft spot, soft spot in my heart for the guy. So this one makes number 10. And if this is your favorite, you gotta make sure you put it in the comment sections below so your vote gets counted. All right, so let's move on to number nine. In number nine, it goes to Plunge issue three. This is the variant cover as you get to see some guy. I don't know how he is, but it's kind of creepy. It's a dark cover he's walking through the the lake or the ocean or i don't i can't be the ocean <laughs> Because there's trees in it. So it's got to be a lake because there's trees behind him. And there's some creepy guys uh, looking behind his shoulder. And it looks like he's carrying something. Like, I don't know what it is. And it looks like it's very cold because obviously he's carrying, uh, well, he's he's got like the breath that's coming out of his mouth. And, and uh, he's got this jacket. So, yeah, it's kind of creepy. That's Plunge. This issue three, if this is your favorite, again, guys, you got to put it in the comment section below. Only one vote per person, okay, and have it in by next Monday as I will give you the results. All right, next, coming in at number eight, this goes to a uh, Marvel comic. It was digitally released. This is Hawkeye Freefall. This is issue five. Um, I like this cover. Hawkeye's in here. He's very front and center, in your face. He's getting ready to pull out the, uh, he's pulling out the bow out of his quiver there, and uh, he's getting ready to load up and shoot. It's pretty cool, and he's got this very, like, intense face and it's kind of like hey i don't want to take hawkeye for granted here based off of this cover and i like how the the logo and the font is you know you got hawkeye and it crosses over with free fall and it's like a crossword puzzle type of thing so if this one is your favorite go ahead and vote all right next Coming in at number seven, we have Red Sonia issue 15 variant. Um, I I like this cover. It's nice because, all, again, all you see, just like how you saw Clint, is here you get to see Red Sonia, which I think it's her, and because I don't read the series, but she's wearing some kind of different type of outfit, and she's got this cool sword. She's got another sword, and then there's this crow behind her, but she looks very dominant. She's 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 in control of whatever it is that it's going on, and, and the cover just focuses on her, nothing else. That's it. So I like it. If this one is your favorite, remember, guys, you have to vote. All right, coming in at number six, this one goes to year zero. This is issue one. And man, let me tell you, it's great to start having comics back. And uh, I was anticipating this book for a very long time. And this cover is pretty cool. Uh, year zero, issue one, all you get to see is this trailer and it's loaded with weapons on it. And, uh, and it's in like this 
I don't know, what you would say like a state park or something. It's just parked there because you get to see these pe picnic benches or something. And you get to see this beautiful picture of like these mountains and this greenery. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you would think everything is beautiful, but you just see that mobile home and it's just loaded up with weapons getting ready to kill zombies at any time i like it i can't wait to see what this series is about guys if this one is your favorite you gotta vote all right coming in at number five this one goes to deceased unkillables issue three um this is the main cover it's kind of cool because it's like you get to see uh, you see wonder woman here as she's holding up jason todd and she's holding his red hood and it looks like she's just getting ready to kill him if you read the original series right wonder woman was left on earth jason todd i guess is still on earth as well and you just get to see all these like zombies behind them and everything else i love the detail that goes into wonder woman it just it's just chaos right it's very funny you know we're dealing with a kind of like a pandemic here and it's like i got some very dark looking comics to choose as my top 10 covers but there wasn't that many comic book covers to choose from this week all right next coming in at number four this one goes to Vampire Hunter D. Um, I thought this was a nice looking co cover of, I don't know if this is, he's a vampire hunter, if that's the character. There's the female on there. It, it's a really nice looking cover. It's got these bats in there. It's got the trees. It's this moon as well. It's very, very detailed. Like, I, I like it. I thought it was a nice cover. It caught my eye. It was one of the standouts this week. You know, maybe would it be higher or lower on the list when there was more comics out? Yeah, very possible. But nevertheless, this week, it makes the cut. It's number four and we'll see what happens all right next moving on to the top three this one goes to red hood outlaw this is issue 45 we have jason todd here on the cover and um He's, it's kind of like a Batman pose. Like he's like on the building on a gargoyle or whatnot. He's got his sword. He's got his mask on. And he's just like, yeah, I'm ready to do some battle. I'm going to kick some ass. That's the way he is, you know. But it's pretty, pretty nice looking cover. I like it. If it's your favorite, go ahead and vote for it. All right, coming in at number two, Webheads. This one goes to another DC Stun Killables. I usually don't like to pick two covers from one title, but again, there wasn't as many comics as they would say be next week. Uh, but I wanted to bring back the series in a big way. And so this one went to DC Stun Killables. Issue three, the variant. This is a dead shot as he's just dead. <laughs> right he's a zombie uh you get to see like his teeth underneath his mask uh and whatnot and he's just all decayed really nice looking cover again very detailed very like photorealistic type if this one is your favorite go ahead and vote all right and last but not least webheads this one goes to joe hill hill house comics this goes to the dollhouse family issue five variant this is some creepy looking cover right here as we get to see whatever it is holding up i forgot the main character's name because i've read the series in so long but it's some demon like creature with these big wings she's got long hair she's got this face where she's like ah and it's just it, it's the 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 girl's gonna die that that's basically what's gonna happen there and the cat's freaking out and there's this little girl on the bottom i don't even know what's going on with her but nevertheless man this is a very menacing like cover it's horrific uh something you would see in a horror movie so yeah this one makes the top spot and if it's yours yes you know what you got to do you got to vote in that comment section below webheads i hope you enjoyed this list this week remember have your votes in by 8 a.m next monday as i will give you the results and i will bring you a new group of books and if you like this content guys click on some more because i got it right here for you and until next time this is mike spider slayer signing off and i'll see you real good and man it's great to have new comic books back take care everyone bye